Okay, so I got a question from a client the other day and I thought it was pretty interesting, which is what is the difference between running a business through a limited liability partnership versus running that business using a limited company structure? Like which is actually the best one to run your business with? Now, I thought this was an interesting question because usually when most people think about starting their businesses here in the UK, their default choice is usually to use a limited company structure. Now, you might be surprised to find out by the end of this video that maybe a limited company isn't quite the best for you after all. But what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna be talking you through some of the key considerations to consider if you are at the point where you're thinking about what particular business entity structure might be the best for you to register your business under okay so some of the things we will be touching on is going to look at the co things to consider when it comes to taxation we're also going to be looking at what to consider when it comes to like business funding as well so let's get right into it so the first thing you're going to want to consider then is the legal aspect now when it comes to making a decision between an llp and a limited company there really is no different they are both separate legal entities okay they're treated as separate legal entities with either of these two business entity structures you are able to buy property you are able to start a business you are able to enter contracts and also recruit people now i think the most important thing when it comes to looking at the legal aspect of both of these two structures is that the liability of the members the directors and the shareholders will be limited to how much capital investment that they've actually put into that company so if you're trying to compare whether an LLP or a limited company is the best for you, thinking about it from a legal standpoint, in this regard, there really is not much of a difference, if at all any. And the second thing to consider here is gonna be around profit distribution, okay? In particular, how are the profits actually distributed in each of these entities. Now with an LLP, the profits that is made by that LLP is automatically distributed to the members of the LLP. And it's gonna be distributed according to whatever has been set out in the members agreement. Whereas when you set up your company as a limited company, the profits are distributed by what is known as dividends and that dividends will usually be paid out according to how much shares each of the directors or the shareholders actually have in that company. So in this regard, there is a slight difference between how you know an LLP would operate when it comes to the distribution of profits versus how a limited company would actually operate in the same regard and that leads us to the taxation of profits and these two business entity structures couldn't be more different because when you're using an LLP structure to operate your business then essentially the members of that LLP are actually considered as self-employed individuals and this means that they have to pay a combination of income tax as well as national insurance contributions on what they're making as well as where relevant they would also need to pay what is called capital gains tax. Now if we compare this with running your business through a limited company structure then what you will find is that you will need to pay corporation tax okay on those profits and corporation tax for a limited company will start anywhere from 19 percent and can go as high as 25 percent okay depending on how much profit that company is basically making so instantly we see that there is a difference here a very clear difference between how profits are actually taxed when it comes to both of these business entity structures now another area where these two entity structures differ remarkably is around confidentiality so if this is something that is going to be important to you 
then it's important that you recognize that if you run your business via an LLP structure, then essentially you will have what is known as a member's agreement in place. Now this member's agreement will usually be held privately, okay? Whereas if you run your business through a limited company structure, then that limited company by law has to have what is known as the articles of association. Now, in this instance, this is usually actually made available to the public, okay? So there is a slight difference here between when you're running your business using an LLP versus when you're using a limited company, particularly around when it comes to, you know, the confidentiality of how that company, that business is actually operated. So if confidentiality is going to be a factor that is of paramount importance to you and how you run your business, then you might want to think about what structure will be best for you in this instance. Now, when it comes to funding the business and attracting investors into your business, using an LLP is going to be much harder. And this is because with an LLP, the investor might be required to actually become a member of that LLP in order to actually make this process work. Whereas if you were using a limited company, then the investor is not actually required to become a director in order to be able to invest in your business. They are easily able to simply buy shares of that company and, you know, be able to make that investment in your business. So this is one area you definitely want to think about if you haven't thought about in the long run, which is that, you know, if you're looking to raise business funding in the future for your business, the type of business entity structure that you decide on will greatly impact how easily you can do that. Now, the next thing to consider is around organizational flexibility. You know, how much flexibility are you as a business owner actually going to have when it comes to managing the affairs of your company, of your business, okay? And with an LLP, you will actually get quite a lot of flexibility. You know, it is very, it's a very flexible structure to use when it comes to managing the affairs of your business with this particular business entity structure. Whereas if you compare this with using a limited company, there are slightly strict regulations here, I'm afraid. You know, there is a lot of scrutiny on limited companies and there are rules and regulations that are placed on company directors and how they manage the affairs of that limited company. So this is another area where most people don't actually think about in the long run. And I think it's important to consider if you're trying to make a decision between either of these two business entities. So understanding the primary differences between an LLP and a limited company is going to be very important, particularly when you're thinking about how your company is going to be managed, how profits are going to be taxed, and also how to basically run your business more efficiently, okay? Which of these business entity structures are going to be best for you to do so? Now, whilst both of these business entity structures effectively provide you with the benefit of having a separate entity structure in place, they are also both able to be registered at company's house. The primary difference here though, is that with a limited company, you only need one person in order to actually register a limited company. Whereas with an LLP, you do have to have a minimum of two members, okay? An LLP requires that you have at least a minimum of two members. So this makes registering an LLP definitely more difficult than if you were to simply go down the route of registering a limited company at company's house. Now, ultimately, when you're making the final decision on whether or not a limited liability partnership is going to be best for you or a limited company is gonna be your key preference, you have to bear in mind what you want to achieve as an overall objective, okay? When it comes to your financial objectives, when it comes to the overall business goals that you have in mind.